Good evening. So today we're going to be cooking GB soup. This is how I cook my GB soup. Now I'm going to be seasoning. I have Asin, seasoned salt, black pepper, and I have my Maggi cube and Azansa. So far, that's it. In here, I have fish, fresh fish. I have crab, dried fish, goat meat. So, we're going to add our blended pepper. And our pepper is in there. After we add our blended pepper, we're going to drop a few, you know, for the pepper because a lot of people don't eat pepper so we're going to mix our our meat and everything is seasoning and everything we're going to stir it up so we're going to add our onions we'll also be adding bitter butter in here as you can see i'm also adding bitter butter because you need your soup to be thick you're going to mash your bitter butter and your fresh fish together and we'll be taking our meat on the stove to steam, as you can see, here's our meat, it's going to the stove, now to steam, we are not adding water right now, it's heading to the stove now to steam, so our pot is on the stove steaming, so now we're going to work on our dry fish, the dry fish is so hot, so you want to soak it, you want to keep it in the water, it's been here for a while now, I'm going to wash it. And take it out. So we're gonna add our dry fish. Wow, when you see me, this is the come with it's very hard. So you wanna be fast about it. So we, add our we also have dry shrimp that will be going in there later so i'm about to wash it and clean it since our meat steam already we're going to be adding our cooking water right now <clears throat> so we close our soup <clears throat> few minutes from now we'll be adding our peanut butter our ground nuts anyway and water we'll be adding a little bit of okay dust because america the water stays so long in the stove they lose everything so when you want your soup to be very slippery you add a little bit of okra dust so you can add okra but today i'm not adding okra in here so now we're gonna be adding a little bit of ground nuts i don't do the regular peanut butter I do the ground nuts, okay? We'll also be removing our fish because you, you, I have to blend the fish with the bitter ball to make the soup thick. So I'll be removing the bitter ball and the fish. So I'm now blending my fish. As you can see, blending my fish and my bitter ball. To put them back in my pot. You're not going to melt the fish now, but the bit I bought here, you have to. So the fish you can leave it after so you can show you see. We're gonna pour our fish in our bit of our back in our pot. So some people would like to add the water at the end, but for me, this is there forever in the stove. So I like so put it there and give it chance to boil a little bit so when my soup is boiling really hot i add my water the heat gonna melt it so people will put the water in it 
in the hot water and drop it in the in the pot. Go ahead. Let me just for easy. Well, I don't cook mine that way. This is how I cook mine. We'll be adding our shrimp. Our shrimp is in already. As you can see, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of venison. Just to get that uh, flavor, that smell or scent. So I'm actually, oh my goodness, we'll also be adding my little GB spice. Forgot the name there. Uh, it's not country spot. Um, since waiting for our soup, I'm going to cook fufu. You know, that we said GB, but who are trying to go boil cassava and, you know, and eat cassava or more cassava, so... I'm using a fufu to cook the, the GB. <laughs> so for me, I use hot water. I allow my water to boil. You can see from the stove, it's hot. So put some in here. After I do this, I will cover it with plastic bag. Put it in the microwave. You can also cook it on the stove if you want. But, mmm, I don't have strength for that. See, after I beat it, I'm going to cover it with this plastic bag. And put it in the oven. I'm going to drop a little bit of water over the bag. Heat. So I'm taking this to the microwave now. So I remove it out of the microwave. I'm going to beat it again. And put it back. You want to put it back? I'm going to put it back. So one more time. As for the fufu, it all depends the amount of fufu you will be cooking. So the first time I put it in there, I, I had it for five minutes. And now it's in there for another five minutes. So um, it depends. When you're cooking a lot, sometimes I cook fufu, I put it on 25 minutes, sometimes 30. All depends the amount, okay? The quantity. But when you're just cooking a little bit of fufu, you don't have to do it like, you know. Because when you overcook it, it gets hard. Then you spoil your food. It's no need. So you want to be very careful. I would do it bit by bit. Probably you pull five minutes, like how I'm doing it now. You put it out, beat it, and put it back for another five minutes. If possible, some food, food is, when it's not much, it go for like the first time uh, three minutes. But for me, the hardest is five. At this point, my GB soup is on low. Yep, it's not on high anymore. It's on low because you don't want it to get very, very thick. So, here we go. See how hot it is? So, when your food gets cold, you have to mold it. There you go. All set. Voila. So here we go. Here go your GB soup. All set. And ready for you to eat. Yep, this like our page. I love cooking Labyrinth food. On Facebook and also Facebook, YouTube. Yeah, that's it, guys. So now I'm going to eat. <laughs> so here go our soup. And uh -huh. here go our food for a GB. So we're coming to eat our food now. You know, some boy be like, "Why you cook and you don't eat?" Your friends then cook and eat. They don't even know I love to eat. So now we're coming to eat. Okay, guys. 
come in here a little bit. Then I turn off the light, the recording. But this is how I'm not a Nimadian, but I was born in Lamco. So I just love chibi. That's how I know how to cook it. If I'm not doing it right, please, I'm open to correction. Let me know what I did wrong. And you know, but this is it. The soup is nice. Oh my God, it's very nice. Very nice. I tell you, no lie, baby. It's so nice. Mm. I know a lot of meat in that pot, but I'm not a meat type. I used to be. Not anymore. Because meat is very hard to digest. And I have to maintain. <laughs> Because I have to make see, you know, nobody say you can't be looking cute while eating. You can't look sexy while you in your kitchen. But join me, let's eat, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Please like my page. I love cooking Liberian food. And like our YouTube channel also. Our restaurant coming soon, guys. Very soon. Bye. This is somebody order. It's going to all the way California. Okay? All the way California, baby. I'm not shipping to California. The person is already here. They will be taking their food. You want your food? From out of state, you pay for your own shipping. You'll be coming around the PA area. You let me know what you want when you come in. I cook your food. Love you all. It's again G Cash. One and only G Cash. Plenty of children, mother. Again. Bye, guys. <laughs>